YouTube, Biker Mike back in the Biker Mike shop. This is part two of my ATV setup for ice fishing. So as you can see, I got a newer ATV now. It's the Can-Am Outlander 850 XT 2021. And I made some changes to my setup for going ice fishing. So what I did was took the wooden box that I made up to hold the propane tank and the buckets and I switched to a smaller propane tank and I'll get to that in a minute here but what I did was got some quarter inch angle iron and just fabbed up these brackets to hold all my buckets and that way it's a lot less weight on the back of the ATV and the buckets are nice just to store stuff obviously your fish or your ice scoop and your shovel or whatever. There's nothing to get waterlogged or weighted down with snow or ice because everything just pretty much falls through. And then I've got the little hitch here for my ice hut. If you're looking to get one of these rear ATV hitch carriers, I'll leave a link down in the description of where you can get one. So up here at the front of the machine, you can see I switched over to a five pound propane tank. And I really like this a lot better than the 20 pounder because it's a lot lighter to maneuver around and you can leave the hose hooked right up to the heater and I can just store it up here and it's a lot easier rather than hooking the hose up to the heater every time you move and reset up. So that worked out great. Five pounds is plenty of propane to last at least a few days and then I just keep a couple one pound bottles inside the hut just in case I run out. So I really like that setup a lot better than the 20 pounder. Somebody gave me that idea and uh, yeah, it works out really good. So the other thing I had to do was come up with a way of adopting this box I made up because it was quite a bit of work to make it up and I needed a way to adapt it to the link adapters here. And what I did was just laid down two pieces of two by sixes on the rack. These work really good. You can just snap them on and off and lift the whole unit off all in one piece in a matter of seconds. So I had to come up with a way and that's how I did it. I just laid these two by sixes on the rack and then fit the adapter brackets onto the two by six. And what I used was these three and one eighths structural screws and they work really good and it just screwed them right into the wood now i did have to notch out the wood a little bit just to get everything to line up and then once i had my two by sixes in place on the rack then i just set my whole box that i made the previous season and then just anchored it right into these two by sixes and it worked perfect I also added this little wing bracket here just to hold the auger on a lot better. Gives it some more support and stops it from rotating around. And then I can just use one bungee to hold my auger on. And down here, you can see I added a two by four to the bottom just in the middle, just because it sits up off the rack a little bit, but it worked out perfect. And I love how these link adapters just snap off and on real easy. Now back here at the back, I adapted this Kimpex passenger seat. Now I know you're not really supposed to put a passenger seat on the non-passenger quad, but it's just for ice fishing and mainly it's just for the storage. Maybe every once in a while. I'll have someone ride out with me, but it's just going out ice fishing, not doing any extreme off-roading. So I wouldn't recommend it for that, for sure. But I'll show you how I got this mounted up. You can see here inside, I added this aluminum backing plate and the bolts come right through it. And I'll show you here in a second. I just made this little plywood seat base and used one link adapter in it. So that comes out nice and easy. And then you can see how I use these link adapters to hold the box on. And luckily it just lines up pretty much almost perfect. I just had to add a little aluminum spacer there 
and then like I said inside it just bolts into the side and then for some more rigidity and strength I added this piece of aluminum in here too and it worked out awesome this whole thing comes off and on in seconds uh, I've only used it a few times ice fishing this year but it uh, worked a lot better keeping everything nice and light was key yeah so hopefully you guys like these little updates I made to my ATV ice fishing setup if you have any questions or comments just drop them down below i usually respond back to everybody and hopefully you like this video it gives you some ideas and if you have some other ideas like i said just drop your comments down below and i'll get back to you so thanks for watching this video uh, thanks for watching any other videos i'll leave a link in this video to my original atv video so you can check that out too and maybe a link for the initial impression of this ATV too. So I've got lots of stuff on my channel. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. I really appreciate it. And thanks again, guys. Biker Mike out.